going on everybody Octa Profit Pro here back today with another video um, today I've got kind of a different uh, figure um, it's not really like anything that I really unbox here but uh, I'll show it to you anyways it is the Toonie Terrorist Jason Voorhees um, and I saw this and it immediately caught my eye and I was like you know what I kind of like the whole Saturday morning cartoon vibe that they gave him. He looks like a Scooby-Doo villain. Um, it looks cool. So I was like, hmm, why not just get this and unbox it? Um, it is made by NECA, so the quality is going to be good. I know that for a fact. I mean, all the other figures that I've gotten from them are good. So I'm definitely not doubting the quality of this figure. Um, I know that I'm going to be pleased with it. I just wonder how it's going to fair up to the other ones. So we're gonna be comparing those guys in this video. But um, yeah, the box isn't really too interesting. You've got the Toonie Terrace here. You got the NECA up there, your choking hazard info, in case you like to choke on tiny pieces of toy, I don't know. Um, Toonie Terrace on the side there. And then on the other side, and you just got New Line Cinema on Friday the 13th and just simple information there. And on the back, it's kind of cool. Um, so it says, bring the fun of Saturday morning cartoons to your horror collection with these adorable little creeps. Pick your friends, or pick your favorites, or collect them all and make everyday toony terror time. And um, they give you a little display here that you can like cut out and I guess like, you know, put it, put your figure on there. Um, I don't really know if I'm gonna do that. I might get another one and try it then, but um, I might just open this one and see how it is. So I'm going to open him up really quick and uh, we're going to gonna get a closer look at him. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got him out um, and I uh, completely destroyed the packaging. I was going to actually keep this backdrop, but now it's all <laughs> warped. So I'll scrap that idea, but I will definitely try to do something cool with each Jason that I own. Um, I'm looking into stop motion now, but I'll discuss that later. Um, now I just have an empty box and I destroyed the box. <laughs> it was fairly easy to get out though. Um, oop, it wasn't too hard to really get out of there. Um, only had like one string holding them in, so that was pretty cool. The machete just fell right out, so that was nice. So definitely the easiest NECA figure to open, which I, I really appreciate because <laughs> some of these are kind of annoying, but um but here he is in all his cartoon glory. Um, it looks like he's taking a selfie, the way his hand is faced right here. Um, I like the the animated like gloss on his machete here. He for sure looks like a Scooby-Doo villain. It's kind of awesome. Um, he doesn't have a whole lot of flexibility though when it comes to you know his movements or anything like that. Like he's kind of limited with what he can move and do, but I mean, all in all, he's still a pretty cool figure. Um, has a hole in the foot, I think, for a stand or a base to put him on, but I don't have anything for him. He didn't come with one, so I'm going to just attempt to stand him up with the rest of them on the shelf um, until I eventually find a better place to put all of them like together um, that I can display them all. Like, I'm going to put him, like, in order by different parts, you know, so. But, uh, yeah, he's, the mask is painted on, so you can't remove the mask like you can with the other NECA figures. Um, there's not really a lot to really review on him. I mean, he's rips on his shirt, rips on his pants there. Just, uh, all in all, I mean, it's a unique figure, but at the same time being a very boring figure, if that makes sense. He's unique because he's cartoon like animated style but at the same time kind of boring because he, i mean he he's, doesn't do much he's not like the other jasons that i own which um i mean but he's not the worst jason that i own that one would have to be part two right here and um, that's just because he's i don't i just don't like the design i don't like the sack hood i don't like the uh, uh, I enjoy him in the video game. Part 2 Jason is probably one of the best because he's <laughs> he's one of the faster Jasons to use. Um, and his pickaxe is kind of cool in game. But uh, like 
owning the action figure. It's okay. I mean, I'm getting every single Jason that I find because I'm trying to get every part, you know, all of the, all of the Jasons, um, collectively, but definitely not my favorite Jason. The movie was good. I just didn't care for the design of Jason. Um, and then we've got part four Jason, which, um, he's getting up there with quality. Um, this is one of the ones that you can remove the mask so you can see his beautiful face and his um, very accurate, uh, <laughs> his very accurate uh, blood wound there. Um, his mask is really cool too. And I, I think he came with uh, several different masks when I opened him and um, I just haven't switched them out yet, which I plan on doing. I'm like swap them out with a different one. I think he's got one that's like torn completely in half. Um, so, yeah, that's part four, Jason. He's very detailed. His machete is really cool. Not a whole lot of mobility out of him either. Um, but it works for him. I don't know why it just does. He just has that cool look and feel to him. Um, and then we've got my personal favorite. Well, you know, and I'll save that one for last. We've got actually, I think the first one I've ever gotten, which, um, was my favorite until I got <laughs> the other one but um so this is like my second favorite this is the reboot jason um and again removable mask you can see the beauty that is jason Voorhees. um and i gotta say this a lot of people hated this movie i actually enjoyed this movie a lot i like the design of jason i like the whole their take on friday the 13th it was it was interesting you know it was kind of different from what they normally do with this franchise so i liked it but anyway um, his machete actually looks the coolest out of all the other Jasons, just because it's kind of like a fucking, it's more like a sword than a machete. <laughs> this thing is like massive. Um, but the detail on him overall is just amazing. Like this coat, look how fucking cool this one is. And then like the, like the sweat and all like the dirt and stuff on the shirt. Like, he's got the tool pouch here and, like, the, the leg strap. Like, definitely, definitely one of my favorite Jason figures. Um, probably the hardest one to find, too, now that I think about it. Like, I feel as if he was the reboot and Freddy vs. Jason. Um, those were definitely, those are definitely the hardest ones, I think, to find. Like, I still can't find any Freddy vs. Jason figures anywhere. Um, and I've been looking, trust me, cause that's, I love Freddy vs. Jason and to have that Jason will be fantastic in my collection. But, um, yeah, so that's the reboot. He actually, well, you know what? No, okay. I, I could say this. I'll, they, not all of them have mobility to them. Um, they're all pretty standard and stiff. And I think that's just because of Jason's stature, like in the movies, he's kind of just a creepy stalking type of figure until you know you get close enough and then he does his thing and then we've got my all-time favorite which is part seven jason um and this i mean i don't even have to explain why this is my favorite but i will but like just look at him like the simple look at the design on the hands it looks amazing the detail on him is just fantastic. He is so well done, well made, very well made figure. I love, 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 love his face without the mask on. He just looks so cool. He's just fully like zombified. Um, I love the chain that was holding him underwater. And I love his like broken mask, which actually makes him even cooler because I like the fact that his face is like all deformed and like half eaten by like fish and other sea creatures when he was underwater. But like, and you can just like see part of his face there with like the teeth coming out. Like that is the coolest Jason. So hands down my favorite Jason figure. <laughs> um, and I don't know how this turn, this went from me unboxing a toon Jason to turning into me ranking my favorite Jason figures, but that's what you get. <laughs> But um, all in all, um, this this Toonie Terror Jason will definitely go up on, you know, with the collection. Um, 
Not my favorite. Really interesting figure, I'd have to say. Kind of boring figure, but really interesting at that because of the cartoon design. Um, yeah, so that was my review of the Toonie Terrors Jason. Um, I hope that uh, you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you subscribe and like and do all that other stuff. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to go edit this video and go to bed. So um, see you in the next one.